Take your arms out into the target angle position. Ooh. That's it. Yeah. Drop the shoulders down. You gotta feel fierce right now. I do. Now, sit and swirl. Dip and swirl. One more. Dip and swirl. Hello, everybody. Hi. Welcome back to the Moms Hi. You. As you can see, we got the crew and a very special guest, <laughs> Tiffany Rod. Woo! Woo All right. Thanks for being here. Thank you. So excited. Thank you so much. So your YouTube channel is blowing up right now, and you yes. cover fitness, and you're a mama. You've got a ten-year-old and a two-year-old. Right. And I noticed your abs right when I walked in. Hello. Yes, yes. Give me some of that. Give it wasn't that. always like that, though. It took some work. So. <laughs> yeah. So tell me about your YouTube channel. Well, you know, my YouTube channel is something that I developed really to help people not only look better, but to feel better from the inside out. Mm -hmm. So even though it's working out, it's more like building up your confidence, your self-esteem, and it's not about fitting your body into one model, it's about being your best. So mm -hmm. I developed a phrase called Femesteem, Ooh, and Femesteem, like which that. really applies to this show, is about, for all you moms out there, all the moms out there that are trying to get in shape, it's about recovering the woman that you were mm -hmm. before the yes. mom, because, I mean, she gets taken over, she gets mm -hmm. kind of barreled over, so that's about finding your sensuality, your sexuality, your self-confidence, all of that. Yes. I love that. Yeah. 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 Wonderful. So what kind of videos like do you show on your channel? Like fitness and motivational and Yes, I do a lot of fitness videos mm -hmm. and um, they're based on the 10 minute workout technique. So you can take um, one video which is like the 10 minute get your sexy back workout. You can mix that with the bombshell butt workout. Mm -hmm. And then so you can choose what you want. And the reason for that is, you know, people say, ah, oh, you know, I don't have enough time or it's like so hectic, especially the moms. Mm -hmm. You have kids crawling over you all the time. Mm -hmm. So you can use one of these 10 minute workouts and get that in without having an excuse. And if you just do something for yourself, even if it's just yeah. 10 minutes, yeah. you feel so much better. What inspired the initial um, decision to create like YouTube videos and fitness and like, what's your background? Okay, so well, you know what? I was in LA mm -hmm. for a long time and I had a training business and I was teaching and everything and then I moved to Mexico for love. Oh, okay. And, <laughs> okay. and I basically gave up my business there and I opened up a studio there in uh, Playa del Carmen, Mexico and I would have all these people that would come because it's more of like a touristy town they would yeah. visit and they would say well how do we continue doing your workouts mm -hmm. and I was like well I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what they tell yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. So then, you know, this whole YouTube thing came out. We know I can put them on YouTube for you guys. Yeah. I can put them on YouTube, yeah. and I so people could do them from all around the world. And then from there, it just kind of. That's took awesome. off like more yes. than I really expected. Yeah. And yeah. I noticed That's that awesome. that do you do all your videos in English and then again in Spanish? Yes, uh, I do them all in English. Mom, me, yeah, 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 right, yeah. Right. You know, well, I first started out just doing them in English, but then you know, all of my Spanish-speaking followers were like, yeah. "Hey, they get we like still need pissed you. off." Like, yeah. I have to make sure yeah. that I do them both in English and Spanish. Yeah. Okay, so Tiffany, I have, I think, every single workout that has ever been invented on DVD. I've got all the insanities and Billy and, and the Daily Burns. So what do you feel like makes your special and so effective? Okay, well, the first thing is my workout is all of that. You mm -hmm. know, I have a background in like... Uh, taekwondo and body sculpting and dancing and ballet mm -hmm. so I wrap all of that thing into my workout and it's so effective because it's fun mm -hmm. and yeah. it's feminine and you want to do them mm -hmm. so it ties in with that whole thing I was talking about femesteem mm -hmm. and you know what I decided early on that I'm just gonna cater to the female market because those are the ones that normally do classes we're the ones mm -hmm. that are like mm -hmm. in there really really focusing on it so my workouts really work your bodies in ways that other people don't mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, they get your waist tight. They, I really um, encourage you to move your whole torso oh, to release yes. that energy. So they all start yeah, well, like, yeah, I'm serious. Yeah. Yeah. That energy because we get blocked. You yeah. get blocked, and if all of your workouts are just sort of straight, you know, you're not really working this whole part right here, which needs to be a flower that blooms every single day. So that's the way I do it in the workouts. Yeah. My flower yes. hasn't bloomed. Yeah, I got a blooming yeah. time. Yes, where were you? You need your free on YouTube. What was uh, I thinking? Yes, <laughs> yes. You got to go to Tiffany World Workouts. I mean, because most people say, you know what, I've tried so many things, and it wasn't until I got to your workouts that I really started seeing results, especially in the waist and ab area. Mm -hmm. You know, yes. because most people don't do a lot of these, like, swirls and fun things that I do, the breathing techniques that I do that you have to think about abs are not just a silk like a plane we're right. yeah. three-dimensional we're a cylinder yeah right. so you have to work the lower back and the waist every you time you get, move I'm yeah, you gotta get yeah. in there you gotta, you gotta get in there and that's the how you really like work. This. yeah and that's what makes it really effective because and that and when it's fun 
you keep doing it. Yeah. Right. You know, you don't dread it. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yes. So you originally started your channel for like your clients. Mm -hmm. But like now that you have a following, like what is your vision for your channel? Like where do you want to take it? So now um, this is going to be this is actually revolutionary on YouTube. Mm -hmm. I am having my own reality fitness show where I'm going to train eight women oh, for cool. eight weeks. And during the time that I'm doing the, training them mm -hmm. with their workouts, all of my fans can follow the exact same workouts. So instead of having nice. just workouts once a week. There'll be daily workouts, there'll be food counseling. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like if you were watching Dancing with the Stars and getting the same routines yeah. that they were doing, mm -hmm. yeah. so that they're really gonna be able oh, to yeah. identify with the contestants. With this, I can not only talk about just physical fitness, mm -hmm. but in me encouraging them and helping them, I can talk about, you know, what do you see when you look in the mirror? Yeah. Building your femme esteem building up your confidence, yep. why are you choosing these foods over the other foods? Mm -hmm. And then choose foods that actually make you beautiful from the inside out. Mm -hmm. So I'll be able to incorporate all of these teachings in the show mm -hmm. um, so that I can help a lot more people. So I'm really excited yeah. about the fittest winner um, yeah. coming yeah. soon to Tiffany Robin Workouts. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tiffany? Yes, ma'am. I hear <laughs> we have a workout in store for us today. Yes, you do. <laughs> what are we? What are What are you gonna do to us? Okay. <laughs> All right. Have you guys heard of chakras? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Chakras are like your energy centers, and then we're gonna work on the navel chakra, which is like kind of two inches above the belly button, and that one is really related to like your self confidence and your feelings. And a lot of times, if that chakra is blocked, then you're feeling kind of low. You don't feel good in groups and things like that. And then we're also gonna work on our sacral chakra, which okay. Has to do with how your sexy feelings and everything. Yeah, remember that swirl? We're gonna do the dip and swirl workout with that. Okay. Uh -huh. like the bend and stop. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're gonna work on um, opening up our root chakra, which is like kind of the lower part of your body. Um, here, and I'm gonna get into that like the lower part here. Your vagine. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Towards <laughs> your lower back, mm -hmm. and that's just gonna really help you feel more. Um, grounded and secure. Oh, All right. I love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys ready? I'm yeah, ready. absolutely. Let's ready. do wow. this. Okay, so you guys, this is a great squat for your butt, but it also makes you feel like some sexy and hot. So I call it this Charlie's Angel Squat. You're gonna put your one leg in front like that, lift your heel up, your knees are kind of together. Take your arms out into Charlie's Angel's Ooh, position. Yeah. That's it, yeah. drop the shoulders down. You gotta feel fierce right now. I do. Now stick your booty out, tummy yeah. in. <laughs> And keep on going. Go down, touch the chair, and then squeeze up. That's oh. it. Let's do 10 together. Let's okay. go. 10. Good. And when you come up, 9. You guys count for me. You count. 8. That's it. Pull the abs in. 7. Pull the abs in when you come up. 6. Good. Uh -huh. Knees together. 5. Be fierce now, ladies. 4. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Three. Squeeze up, squeeze <laughs> together. Two. One more. Hold it down. Hold it down. Here they come. Hold it down. Here they go. And up. Woo! Right. Good. Okay. So we got to be even. So okay. the other leg. Lift up. I need you to get cute though, because you have okay. to like, you know, stick your booty out a little bit. Cross the knees. Oh, that's it. That's the cuteness gonna start right. Assume the position. <laughs> now make sure, make sure, ladies, that your shoulders are down. Your chest is elevated. Exactly. I want that one heel elevated in front of the other so that you're really focusing yeah, yeah. just on one side of your glute. Let's do 10. Ready? Oh. 10. Oh, yeah. Don't oh, do it. Nine. 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 That's it. Eight. Good. Touch the chair and come up. Seven. Seven. Squeeze Seven. the booty when you lift. Four. Six. Come in, breathe out. Five. Five. Uh-oh. Oh. Four. 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 That's it. Strong arms. Three. Three. Strong arms. Let's go. Hold it down. Hold it down. Uh-oh. That's it. Hold it, ladies. Hold it. Squeeze that booty and come up. Oh. I like it. Good job. I like it. Okay, ladies, now we're gonna do the um, dip and swirl oh, workout. Ooh, you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, it sounds good, right? Ice cream. Sounds like so, ice cream. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Scoot your little me. booties to the end of the chair. Keep your arms nice and straight. Now, what I want you to make sure of is that you don't, that we're gonna hold it right here because you're starting your workout right now. Oh, oh that's sorry. right. <laughs> you don't ready. let your body sink down like that. Don't do that. So, everybody, push your shoulders down. Your waist is nice and long. We're gonna go clockwise and just swirl your hips in a circle. Oh, oh yeah. Yes. That's yeah. it. Is that good? Is that good? Okay, now let's go the other way, counterclockwise. <laughs> we need some music. I know. I know, like this. Oh, is like, this like, oh, oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> okay, everybody, hold it. Now we're gonna do one dip. That means you're gonna build, bend your elbows okay. and point them back. Go down and up, one swirl clockwise. Woo! Ooh, I need one dip. Clockwise. One dip. <laughs> no. Now go the other way. Swirl. I can only tell. Yes. Time. Okay, you guys ready? Let's go. Dip, dip and, and swirl. swirl. Dip, dip and swirl. <laughs> dip 
and swirl. swirl. One more. Dip and swirl. Oh, yeah. Good job. Oh, you need to laugh or cuss. Oh, yeah. One of the two. Okay. <laughs> I felt like that might have really been awkward time. at that. Yeah. But how <laughs> I was yeah, watching you guys. I was you like, and me both. Yeah, but this, this recovers, you know, all that feminine energy. You know, yeah. you got to get into it. It's oh, not yeah. all just straight forward and back and side I to agree. side. We have to work it and be soft and mm -hmm. sensual with our exercises mm -hmm. so that it makes I us like feel that. like we want to be. Right, and then right. when you go dancing, you'll feel more confident. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You're like on the dance floor, right. give me a chair. I'm going to dip and swirl. Yeah. Yeah. Forget the whip and the nae yeah, exactly. I got the you, dip and the swirl. You don't have to get up. You can just be sexy from your chair. Yeah. Yeah. Like that, right? Like, like I got you dancing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The last one that we're going to do is one that you can do from anywhere. And this okay. is the one that really helps, especially after you've had given birth. You know, all of your organs are kind of out. Yes. So every, let's sit up nice and tall. Uh -huh. Let's sit up nice and tall. And just laugh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you know they say laughter is the best medicine because it really actually contracts and it pulls your navel chakra and it mm -hmm. opens it up. So it's really great for you and helps you to build confidence in yourself. So right here above your belly button, you're going to place your hands like this with your energy out. Cross your thumbs together. Sit up nice and tall. And when we're sitting up, you're going to keep those booties nice and tight. And just going to breathe out like this. <sighs> That's it, again. <sighs> now, let's try not to move the spine and just the abs. Oh. That's it. Now we're going to blow it out. Shh. Instead of a ha. That's it. So you're trying to put those kids to sleep? Do that. Shh. Good. One more and. Shh. You can smell my breath, okay. can't you? Now here we go. Here we go. Now we're going to do 10 of those quick and short. Okay. Ready? Go. And. Interrupting my thoughts. All right, okay. Sorry. So, did you guys feel that? Like, absolutely. Yeah, totally. See, we started working up a sweat yeah. with that little breathing exercise. <laughs> and that's really good to help to, like, get those organs to get oh, back yeah. in shape, you know? Awesome. Yeah. Now, you guys are armed and ready to get your femistine yes. back. And what? Mm -hmm. Feminine is the new sexy? Yes. That's right. Okay. Yes, okay. I, love I can't wait to do you. more. Yeah. These are amazing. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Oh, all right. Those were great. I'm and so I feel like I'm going to be sore. And like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys ready to answer some Twitter questions? Yes. yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Tiffany, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, perfect. <laughs> um, Lene.Grace asks, what workouts did you ladies use after giving birth to get your original shape back? Mm. Where is my original? <laughs> Where <laughs> is that? I would have started that? walking because I remember I tried to go right back to the gym. I think it was like only three months after, and you just my like I had a stinging feeling in my stomach, and I was like my guts just aren't back to I where know. they were at. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I just started walking a lot with Cooper in the shoulder just to like get the sweat and the blood flowing again, and to get the endorphins pumping through the body. Yeah. yeah. I think just getting moving in general. Yeah. Yeah. After I had, um, I think it was Avia, because I've always liked fitness. I got into it in high school. And after I had Avia, was, she was by maybe six months old, I got into spin, spinning. Mm, and I loved it, because it just kind of helped me sweat all my toxins out. And yeah. that, that's what I loved. But I feel like you really have to give yourself a good year yeah. before yeah. you be like, OK, I'm really going to hit the gym hard. Like, don't feel bad if you don't get to the gym for a while. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. For me, so far, it's more been about, um, it's always, let me say, not just now, eating. Yeah. My, my workouts play a huge play on how my muscles come back together, but as far as in the weight coming off, Same -sies. if the cleaner I eat, the easier the weight just And you probably feel off. better. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, you got to yeah. eat clean, yeah. or you're just going to feel like mm. somebody else gets the kids. You can't yeah. eat like a heavy, <laughs> yeah, you can't eat like a big, slice a cheesy pizza and then feel like, I'm going to go run five miles. Like, right, nobody wants right. to do that. You need to fuel your body properly to want to work out. It goes hand in hand. Yeah. After I had Winston, I drank so much water yeah. because yeah. I wanted to nurse mainly, but mm -hmm. I couldn't believe the way, how good it made me feel. Mm -hmm. And I felt my, like my weight came off way faster because yeah. I was just drinking water like crazy. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. That yeah. is a very good thing that a lot of people undervalue is water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. water. I always had. I had never really liked water. and. Then when I started drinking it so much, I couldn't believe how good I felt. My skin cleared up. Yeah, I felt really. amazing. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 
Well, for me, I would say because the first one was 10, um, it was a little bit easier than the second one actually took me a long time. Mm -hmm. And um, I just remember at about like six months in the mirror going, ah, you know, mm -hmm. I'm not like those other trainers that goes by. And I actually right. did some videos about it on my channel mm -hmm. that, you know, not to feel badly about yourself. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. snap back like the mm -hmm. people that you see on television. Mm -hmm. But it's absolutely, you know, I think it's crucial that you start working out or getting back into your body um, as soon as you feel good because mm -hmm. it's when you do that what I talked about earlier is that when you start to feel good about yourself you eat a little bit better mm -hmm. you drink yeah. more water mm -hmm. you put on better clothes you start to shine better because if you're not feeling good you put your big old mom clothes on you slumping around mm -hmm. you know but one little workout or one little thing that makes you feel like hey I'm still I still got it mm -hmm. yeah. 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 then you start pepping up a little bit and so that's really really important after you've had a baby is to make sure you get back into your body and get that femistine yes. yeah. after I had my first my first um, daughter I loved Pilates before and I had a c-section and I could not do the moves like yeah. and it was so weird to me because I was mm -hmm. like this was so easy for me before yeah. and now I had this new body and I got discouraged but I, my advice would be don't get discouraged and yes. keep trying. Mm -hmm. Not that I have, but <laughs> my advice to you. <laughs> and celebrate that you're yeah. mom. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then it's yeah. okay if it takes you a little bit longer. Right. And, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. I've always been a fan of yoga. Yeah. I feel like it's just always been really good for me. And, um, and I remember my first yoga class, like post um, pregnancy, mm -hmm. I was like, God, I, my body just craved this yes. you know and you know just moving it and stretching it and being in a heated room for me that was good and that like centered me and it's also like a little bit of meditation you right start, you know you in a lot of yoga classes there's a mirror and you look yourself in the eye and you it's like for me I like talk to myself like yeah. you stay in this pose you hold that leg yeah. you got this girl and a lot you know? of it is about that you know it's about that. really being with yourself accepting yourself in yeah. that moment I even have a video called relaxing stretch and meditation oh cool that I really recommend that people do after the workout just to be like you know what this is great everything is beautiful in this morning I am okay mm -hmm. you know yeah. and that is really yeah. important especially for us moms mm -hmm. at whatever stage that you are after having a baby are you guys ready for the next one okay. yeah. mm -hmm. um, uh, Mia May 12 asks how do you learn to love yourself and your body even if you don't have the supermodel look yeah. They don't even love their bodies. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, right? That's I right. I mean, I think every woman could pick, we could all pick apart our bodies. I feel like I'm the worst at it. We've just come up with a new rule, and it's mostly because I've noticed that Cooper has been saying bad things about himself. Like, mm. I look chubby, and he's like, look, my belly's poking out. And I'm like, he totally gets that from me. It's yes. my own fault because he yeah. hears me say it, so he's saying it. So I said, every time we say a bad thing about ourselves, we have to say five nice things about ourselves. Oh, that's good. Because yeah, that's sometimes true. you just like mindlessly be like, I look chubby today, because yeah. sometimes you feel it, so you say it. But I think that everybody could pick their bodies apart and be mm -hmm. like, I don't like this, totally. I don't like this, I don't like that. Mm -hmm. But it's focusing on the good because there's some yeah. things that we'll never be able to change, you know? Yeah. But it's also about um, affirmations. I Absolutely. think that that's something that I really do, especially after my class, is to say, instead of, you know, how much, because what you focus on expands. Right. So if you wake up and you focus on all the things that you don't like and all the things that are wrong, you're going to see more and more and yep. more. Mm -hmm. But if you wake up and you focus on all the things that you love mm -hmm. and all the things that you want to affirm, then you change your mindset. Right. Mm -hmm. You change your mindset to create mm -hmm. what you want to have happen. Mm -hmm. And that's really important. So you start saying, I love my body. I love my beautiful stomach that gave birth. I love my hips because they're so sexy and feminine. I love my feet because they help me move. I love my back oh, yeah. because it keeps mm -hmm. me strong. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love Absolutely. my hands because they can embrace my children. Yeah. You just start with all of these beautiful affirmations. Yeah. And then by the time you're done, you're like, I'm pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. And then you get back to that feeling again. So piggybacking off of what you said, I'm all about verbal affirmations. And with that question, um, I feel like in our society, it's it's norm for a woman to shoot down a compliment. Like mm, if yes. someone oh says, oh, you look thin. <laughs> Girl, I am as big as a house. Right. <laughs> like it's hard for us to accept it. And, uh, you know, y'all have heard me say several times on the show, I love myself. And that doesn't mean that I feel that way every day. Sometimes mm -hmm. I don't. But I know that it it's healthy for me to say it, even if it sounds yes. conceited. Mm -hmm. And I remember me and my husband a long time ago, and then I'll oh, shut up. Um, we mm -hmm. did affirmations to each other. Because That's sometimes yeah. it, you need someone thing. else to see the beauty in you so you can reflect it yes. back. So mm -hmm. every night we would tell each other something that we thought was so wonderful about the other person. And um, I started doing it with one of my girlfriends, too, because it was just like nice. It's sometimes nice to hear someone else to say it, yes. and then it's yes. easier yes. for you to say it. Mm -hmm. And we weren't allowed to deflect mm -hmm. the uh, compliment. Right. We wow. had to completely accept it. Yeah. We had to be mm -hmm. like, thank you. 
I really appreciate that. Yeah. So um, that's something. If you're around other girls that you like appreciate, you all should just work on empowering each other because yes. eventually it'll it'll rub off on. You'll start to believe what you're hearing, mm -hmm. and you'll start mm -hmm. to be able to speak it as well. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do that that's with Briley. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. what I was gonna say. Um, what has made me feel better about my body is Braley went through this stage where she was really down on herself, and I would always tell her those things. You are healthy. You have a beautiful body. It lets you do cheerleading, you know, mm -hmm. and we would just go through all of these things and then I started to realize I need to tell myself those too. Yes. I'm able to have children. Like I have been blessed with this healthy body yep. mm -hmm. that I need to celebrate and love. So yeah. mm -hmm. I love that. I did that with my husband actually um, two weeks ago. It was the mm -hmm. most beautiful, beautiful mm -hmm. thing. And I think that we should really incorporate that into our set of a gossipy life and into yeah. our life with our relationships with our yeah. girlfriends, with our children, with our mates, because it's so fulfilling. Mm -hmm. But I do want to say that it's super important. Like, that the supermodel body is not the only body out there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is really, really important. Mm -hmm. And if we stop trying to like yeah. carve yeah. ourselves into yeah. this one look, then we would be a lot happier. There yeah. are so many different shapes and sizes of beauty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And just take the blinders off of your eyes and start to look at women. Mm -hmm. how beautiful they are mm -hmm. and every every shape and size yeah. and then you'll be able to see that beauty in yourself don't look in the magazines look around you mm -hmm. yeah. there's yeah. beauty all around you so don't spend your time trying to make yourself you know fit into this yeah. model that you're never going to fit into yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. so focus on making yourself Amazing with your yeah. affirmations, yeah. with your feminist team, with your Tiffany Roth workouts. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Love, yes. I feel yeah. great just sitting next yes. to you. <laughs> yep. This is really fun. Thank you yeah, so thank you much so for much coming for on. Having, you guys thank are you awesome. inspired thank all of you. us and I'm sure tons of people that are watching this episode. So yeah. I can't wait to dip, rattle, roll, shake, yeah. shimmy <laughs> all over the place with your workouts. Yay. Yes. Yes. Right. Okay. So definitely check out her channel and get your groove on over there, That's right? That's right. And listen, if you guys want to be with me, I need you to go to thefitnesswinner.com so that you can be on my show training with me and inspiring millions around the world. Yay! Yay. Absolutely. Uh, thanks so much for watching everybody. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you aren't already. We'll see you soon. Bye! Bye! Bye.